So can you turn your side hustle into a full-time gig? Well, as I continue my series on why haven't you started your own business, I'm gonna introduce you to a lovely couple who took their side hustle and turned it into a full-time gig. I'm CLM2 for With Power, the channel that helps find the power within you. He's giving me power, all power, all power. Well, happy Monday, and today is Indigenous People Day or Discovery Day as we um, celebrate this holiday. And we want to know, can you turn your side hustle into a full-time gig? Well, I have a great couple here by the name of Vicky and Raymond, and they're going to tell you how they took their side hustle and turned it into a full-time gig, and they're doing very well. Let's take a look. Hello there, as I continue my series on why haven't you started your own business, I have a great couple here with me today, and um, I have Raymond and Vicky here today, and they are a husband and wife team who have started their own business and looking to do even more uh, today. So I um, just want to say, hey, Raymond, hey, Vicky, how are you guys? Good afternoon, Mr. Marshall. Good afternoon. <laughs> good, good, good. You okay, Ray? And Cole. And Cole, huh? <laughs> I hear you, brother. It's getting a little, getting a little, it's getting a little cool out there because it's, uh, it's fall. Fall is coming. So um, I just wanted to you know, give, give you a little history on how I, how I know this couple. I actually know, uh, I actually know Vicky. Uh, you know, Vicky was once a student of mine way back in the day at Bronx Community College, where some of you yeah. know I'm, I'm in higher education. Uh, from there, she went on to become my colleague as she started working at Bronx Community College for a while. And then she uh, she kind of moved on. And we stayed in contact with each other because, of course, she still has a whole bunch of friends at Bronx Community College. And then I come to find out that Vicky has been doing some, some things. And I'm very proud of her. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. But also, she, um, but also she's married to a, a gentleman who is also an entrepreneur and a, a business owner himself. And this is Raymond. So Ray, we're gonna start really with your story. Um, tell us a little bit about how you guys met first. How did you guys even come together? Ooh. So at the time I had left an abusive relationship, I was single and a night my friend called me to go out. I didn't wanna go out, okay. but I did. But when I got back, the city buses wasn't running. So she said, I'll call you a cab. And guess who was the cab driver? <laughs> was it Ray? <laughs> yes, sir. But I had just moved. So I gave him my old landline number, not my cell phone number. Okay. So I called my friend and I'm like, oh my God, I met this guy. I don't really know what he looks like because there was a partition. <laughs> but he's the first guy that I ever gave my number to, but I gave the wrong number. So she goes, so what does he sound like? I was like, well, he's dark skin and Dominican. That's all I know. So she knew him. They were friends. Oh, okay. Nice. So she got us in contact together. And yeah, 20 years later. So, uh, so Raymond Vicky was telling me about your business and um, you're actually doing a landscaping business. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. So how did you get into the landscaping business? As a matter of fact, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's in, the, in my book. Um, in my ebook, actually, I, I talk about starting a landscaping business, which is a very, very you know, lucrative and can be very, very profitable. How did you get into landscaping, Ray? Uh, well, as you know, we moved up here and it was really difficult to travel the time, not spending time with the family. So I look into something that I can actually control my own schedule yeah. and be all around and not deplete my family for financial. So I started looking, I found that, you know, it is local, it's a lot, it's a lot of company, but it's a lot of business out there. <coughs> Excuse me. So it was mainly the schedule and be able to, at one point to just depend on one job and be close to my family. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So did you start off as a team member for another a landscaping company? Did you start with yeah. like that? Yeah. Yes. While, while working a full-time job so it was a it started as a side hustle mm -hmm. to see how it worked out so yeah. he was doing two jobs at the same time uh, i worked for a friend of mine at this point good friend of mine 
kind of hard to tell it's a good friend, but he is a good friend, good heart. He's our son-in-law now. So. Yeah. So I started mm-hmm. doing weekends with him for over three seasons, three years. Yeah. And everything that was coming from that side, it was just for that purpose. With that, I bought my first truck, bought my first uh, machine. Mm-hmm. Uh, I still work in Monday to Friday, my regular job. I used to be a manager from AutoZone. So okay. they allowed me to have weekends off and I would work with him the weekends and he helped me to go pick up the equipment. Uh, it was a lot of, from him. He really, I knew I wanted before because a neighbor of mine actually say how much she pay. I was like, you paid that much just to call you guys? <laughs> I was like, I kind of like that. That's right. So he, he really opened that door by, you know, allow me to see the inside, which I never saw myself doing that. I hate being in the sun. And <laughs> true. I don't like much to be in outside. I'm not like so it was a lot to get used to. It. Once I'm used to it, it's like it's like any, any other day. It's really actually very relaxing. Nice, nice. So you you so you work with him for a while, and then when did you decide to go out on your own? 2019. Uh, I don't know the exact year, but I did three seasons with him. Once I bought my first truck. Uh-huh. I remain with him for doing the landscaping and the snow removal for I think a year more. And that's what I actually found somebody selling a used machine and I bought it. And I decided, you know what? It's not that I'm, I don't see that I'm leaving you. I'm just seeing that I'm growing because anything that you need, I will help you. And I know I'm going to need a lot of your help and you can help me. Right. So, so Mr. Marshall, we started in 2019. Um, you know, we registered the business, did all of that, but it was still a side thing. We wasn't, he wasn't sure about it, Mm -hmm. but about a year later, I saw a lot of potential in him. Like this could become something great and big. So, um, I told him, I remember it was December. I said, you need to choose either your full-time job or dedicate yourself to the business. But I see you doing very great and prosperous. So, he left his job and just focused on the business. And that's how we jumped to it. Like always, the wife is always right. Hey, He was scared. It's, it's scary to make a change for anyone. You that's have a true. full-time job. You feel comfortable. It pays your bills. But I believe if there's, if you have a goal, sometimes you need to take that leap, that chance. And if you fail, that's okay. It's okay. But, it's, but don't give up, you know, if you have a dream or a goal. So that's why he did. He just jumped right into it. So you guys are a true team, and that sounds that sounds great. You're a true team, and so so I, I guess the uh, now do you also do the snow removal also in the winter time? Have yeah. you got you are doing that? Okay, great. Yes, we added that last year, and thank God we was blessed. It it we just got so many customers; it was unbelievable. Yeah. So yeah. we're yeah, we're, we're very blessed. Um, we love the interaction with the customers. Um, I think one of the main things that we've been successful is, and they were honest and they could see that. Right. And as long as you give them 110%, um, that's all they're looking for. Absolutely. So, okay. so if someone wanted you, if someone to use your service, how do they contact you? Do they contact you via email? They use your phone number. I mean, how do you do it? All over, all we're, about. we're all over social media under the name, except for TikTok. TikTok is under Ray Cruz, okay. but we have, we're on Instagram with the same name, Facebook. We have our own website. There's options to direct message us, text us, call us. So we get contacted in many different ways. Okay, great. So, and, and we definitely, I'm definitely going to put all that information uh, in the description so that you guys can go and get all of their information about thank you Damon de la Cruz <laughs> extraordinaire landscape that's great all right so now let's move on to Vicky so Vicky you uh you invited me to speak at your Facebook group and I was um happy and surprised that you had started this Facebook group so talk us a little bit about the Facebook group well um the name of the group is all of me now women's group the meaning behind it is for anyone seeking any type of healing, self-care, um, whether they're going through new journeys or trying to start a new journey. Um, 
it's just overall a space for yourself also. It doesn't have to mean that you're going through anything. A lot of people are alone. Mm -hmm. Some people don't have a spouse to come home to and say, look, I had a great day today. And, or, you know, they went to an event and they want to post something, but they don't know who to send it to. So it's a space where you could share whatever you want practically. It's a place for you to be you. You're not going to be judged. It's a safe environment. It's, um, everybody respects the rules. So it, it, it you know, me being, being coming from a, a history of abuse and a lot of trauma, mm -hmm. I know what it feels like to be alone. I know how hard it is to start new journeys, start all over again, not have friends, or maybe somebody I could confide in. So I thought about that and I said, why not create a group? Nice. There's a lot of people out there in, in the same boat, you know, they just don't have someone that they could share with. So I created it in, in August and the group is slowly growing. You know, it's growing faster than what I thought, actually. I know, right? So I'm very, I'm very excited. No, I'm excited for you. Okay. I mean, um, it sounds like a great idea and you're absolutely correct. There's so many individuals that need that type of uh, safe space. Really what you've created is a safe space for them to come in you know, be themselves and uh, you need those safe spaces uh, for those type of individuals. Yeah. So now you also embarking on your, your cooking career, you told me on the phone. I was like, wow, she, she cooks. I didn't even, you know, maybe I've had your food and didn't know I was eating your food because you probably have brought some food into the, to the college for some of those. Oh, so, um, because I'm a Leo. So we always want to be doing something. Okay. Um, before the food thing, I'm actually working on opening up two businesses. Okay. I'm not going to share the names yet because I, I haven't registered them and I'm trying to keep them. Okay. But um, one is to focus on like personal coaching, mentorship. Okay. I want to make it grow to the point that I could help people. Like if they don't know how to do an interview, they don't, um, they can't research something for whatever reason, resumes, anything that could empower them and I could help in the community. That's one. Okay. The second one is um, to create products that are motivational, inspirational, or just things that reflect who you are. So, you know, I love butterflies. So I might create, I don't know, a candle with a butterfly on it. Nice, nice, nice. But then by mistake, I don't even know how it happened. Um, we had hired this great chef. Her name is Chef Gina. She, her business is Personal Plates, LLC. Okay. Um, we hired her for our 20th anniversary. We hit it all very great. She offered, um, well, she asked me if I could cook certain Spanish meals for her wedding that she loves, and I agreed. And then from there, we just started talking, and she said I could work for her, assisting her in the kitchen. So, Before we end this call, I just want to get the, the names again of the company. So Ray, <laughs> you and Ray's landscaping company is called, and just give me the full name, and the, the website, give me that. The website is the same name as Del Cruz. Del Cruz. Lawn Care and Home Services. Dot com. Dot com. Okay. And then that's the same on all the social media? Facebook yeah. and Instagram. Um, exception TikTok. You'll find him under Ray Cruz. Okay. And then Vicky, your Facebook group is called? All of Me um, Women's Group. Um, they could search, they might find me faster through Vicky Santana. So okay. it'll come out either way. Okay. Um, you know, they, they could find it. So fantastic. So there you have it, folks. Uh, husband and wife team is nothing like having partners <laughs> when you're doing some type of business because, um, you know, you can go far by yourself, but you go even further if you have a partner and you have people helping you. So you have Vicky and Raymond. And uh, I really appreciate you guys. And listen, what Raymond and Vicky are doing with their landscaping company, that's in my ebook. You can download the ebook. And I actually have that as one of my 21 businesses you can start in 2021. These two have already started and they're going to expand. And once again, I'd just like to thank you guys for doing this interview. And uh, thank you for the invitation. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Appreciate you. you. Too. Bye. Bye. Well, there you have it. Um, fantastic couple very very inspirational story um i was just moved by them and vicky is actually a former student of mine from way back i got all the information in the description and you've seen the information on the screen 
but definitely, definitely, you need to definitely start your own business. So as you know, go right to my website, download the free ebook. That business that they started is actually in the book, 21 money-making businesses you can start right now in 2021 and beyond. And, uh, and just go take a look at it, it's free, all right? Now, if you like the content and you enjoy the program, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this on Facebook, hit that like button. If you're watching this on Instagram, hit that like button. Um, anywhere you are, and please share it. Um, I think our people especially need to definitely think about starting their own business. And I think it's very important that we start our businesses now. Uh, we don't want to go through what we went through in 2020 with the pandemic, loss of jobs, loss of income. We need to get serious about this and we need to go out there and start some businesses, All right? Well, that's it. And I will see you next time.